hi guys we're filming a youtube video today and this youtube video is going to be definitely different than what i have been putting out for you guys so i'm a little bit excited about that because i've been doing a lot of vlog style videos and whatnot but this video is going to be a clean with me like a day of cleaning with me cleaning my apartment cleaning my car going to the laundromat and doing laundry which i know all that sounds very exciting doesn't it no it doesn't but i'm going to try to make this like as aesthetically pleasing and like satisfying to watch as i can i like putting out videos that like i would like to watch and how i'd like to see a video be done so i'm gonna try to do that in that kind of style first i have a haul now this is not a haul that you guys are normally used to but of course it's in theme with this video so I'm going to show you guys some cleaning products that I bought for today's inspired video and just to clean my house. Um, I have the day off today, so I've kind of been letting the house go the past few days because trust me, I'm not someone who can like let the house go for very long. I'm a very like day to day cleaner and keeping the house together and clean and dishes washed, etc. Um, but when I know I'm having a full on deep cleaning day. I kind of just like let the house run its course and then I'm ready to full on attack it and clean it. So I re-upped on my Swiffer wet pads. Um, I also sometimes will Swiffer with the wet mop pads and I'll mop. Like that's what I mean when I say deep clean. Because when is the floor ever going to be 110% fully clean, you know? just so aggravating and then I bought this I was trying to look up like a really good cleaner recommended on TikTok or whatever this is um bubbly bleach this is toilet bowl disinfectant so I'm really trying to work on having my toilet bowl be 110 percent white and clean and sparkling and look like you can dive in it and take a bath so there's that and I feel like I can just because this is toilet bowl people use this in their sinks so maybe I'll consider trying this in my sink or even in my shower. Like, does it actually matter? Then my first time going in with baking soda, I just feel like, oh, okay. So you can use this with deodorizing, cleaning. It's showing it a, a garbage. Maybe I can put it in the garbage so the garbage doesn't stink. Cleaning. Helps you get deodorize your home. Shake on cush, couch cushions pet beds inside trash cans help oh we're gonna do some of that shake on a wet sponge wipe and rinse great to leave out next to the sink for quick cleaning of drains oh i'm about to go hammy with this shit. okay i'm gonna look more into that after i'm really just about the deep cleaning you know and then i got some extra dish soap because mine's like almost low but i love this kind from target they're 99 cents they always smell freaking amazing. This is Citrus Grove. So I got that because I only have a few dishes in the sink to clean. Like I said, like I don't want that kind of stuff pile up. And then I like to keep wet wipes in my car for sticky hands, eating food, blah, blah, blah. But I'm probably going to use those to like tidy up some surfaces around here as well. So enough talking. Let's get into this video. Where should I start? I'm going to start by opening my blinds, letting in some light. We're definitely going to get rid of the few dishes. Um, I hate the feeling of feeling like my uh, sink area is never 100% clean. Like I can dump a whole thing of bleach on it, spray it with Clorox. Usually I go in and spray my like um, shower sinks, all this with this Clorox Ultra Foamer. foamer. Damn, I can't talk. Um, and as good as I think this works, it never feels 100% clean. So we're going to go in with that baking soda. Wait. Oh. I almost forgot this is what i've been like thinking about since i laid my head down last night sad i know this is the stainless steel cleaner and polish i'm gonna have to see what this is actually all about um um it helps remove dirt smudges so i'm gonna use this more for like my sink my stainless steel sink Hopefully it leaves like a nice fresh shine, you know? I don't know. Let's get to work.
trying to take a year and a half to do this so if i'm not doing everything completely correct don't come for me okay this is a cute uh little sink area i don't know which one to start with first i think we're gonna okay i love how this said this is good for drains so we're gonna pour a little in the drain we're just gonna let it sit and soak and it's pretty good and satisfying to me i'm also gonna put it on my little drain thing so i don't know maybe we should just do the full sink can't hurt right which is also kind of dumb because i also want to spray my clorox spray yeah mixture of things Maybe later when we rinse, I'll apply the polish cleaner. <coughs> it's so strong. But I'm gonna go and clean the counter areas. Um, sometimes water gets like behind here or like under my little wooden dish, it gets all wet on the counter. So I'm just gonna wipe around as well. So let's do that. I know this is really gross, but that's from cleaning all of that. Uh, and obviously, that is all coming from somebody who cleans all these areas very often. And it still builds up, so. I also live with a guy, if that says anything. So I'm going to finish up with the kitchen, doing a, like, not very exciting things. Take out the trash, even though it's not fully full. I want to put some of the baking soda in the bottom of my trash can to keep from odors. Um, I'm going to wipe my kitchen table. Maybe I'll show you guys. Yeah, let's just do that. A little bit of organizing in here and any other miscellaneous things I see. And we'll do that and then we'll move on to the next room. some fresh air i'm sweating this is from like my not exactly the top of my table but like sometimes when you're cleaning you see things that like you wouldn't have realized before and down here like the legs of the table chair or yeah the table chairs they're very dusty just little areas you don't normally pay attention to it's good to discover when you're deep cleaning And yeah, that's just about it for the kitchen. I might go in and do a couple of other little things off camera, but next clip, we're moving on to the next room. Next, what I'm gonna do, I know I look a hot mess. Next, what I'm gonna do is put out all my plants and flowers out in the sun because it's such a nice day.
Okay. Shirt had to come off. I'm dying. But I love that I'm able to like open the windows today, get let fresh air and all that good stuff. Really wish I had a coffee right now, but my boyfriend has my car right now. But when he gets out of work, um, definitely getting Duncan trying a new drink. So stay tuned. I'll add that in this video. Um, and then we're going to go to the laundromat. I hope I want to clean my car. So hopefully we do that too. Um, maybe I'll even take you guys to the grocery store to grab something. Let me not get off tangent. Cleaning video. So next is mainly floors. I still have the bathroom to fully do, but I think I want to do floors first because as I'm walking around and shaking things out and wiping things and dust is all over the place circulating, I'm really wanting to sweep right now and then I'm going to Swiffer. Should I mop and then Swiffer or Swiffer then mop? I feel like mopping gets like the main gunk off the floor, but Swiffering really gets in the creases and crevices of the place that like a mop is not going to fully pick up and reach. So. Maybe we'll mop first. My hands are getting really dry from like constantly having them wet and touching bleachy products and all that stuff. So that's fun. But yeah, I can't wait to shower and get ready for the day. It's so nice outside. So like when I'm done, I'm looking forward to stepping outside and enjoying the fresh air and the nice day today. Let me stop talking and procrastinating and let's get to mopping. With that afterwards, we're gonna wipe more um like countertop spaces like I need to obviously wipe down my makeup table. I need to wipe down this fireplace. It's a little bit dusty. Um, the living room table, things like that. And then I end up obviously wiping like glass surfaces like TV screens and mirrors. So we're gonna get into all that. Let's start mopping. Hi, I decided to put baking soda on my couch because I was watching videos on it and it really helps with like smell. Not that my couch smells or has moisture or I have kids or pets affect my furniture at all, but if you leave it on and then you vacuum it off after, there's amazing results. I know this looks insane. I know you might be a little scared, but all of my furniture is actually bought second hand. So the fact that I can just do little things like this to like give my couch an extra deodorizing. I'm also gonna do it to my rug. It's nice and exciting when I'm doing it and it can't hurt, you know? Especially I have a white rug, which is bonkers for many people. I don't really have many people here and the people who are here know did I just use it at all? I hope not. I wanted to use some in the shower. I still have a little bit for the rest of what I was doing. I'm a little upset. I just used almost all of that. I gotta talk and talk loud and fast because I have music playing in the background. My videos keep getting demonetized for having music playing in the background, so I really don't wanna get demonetized again because I won't be able to really post it off. So I just mopped the whole house. Now I'm gonna go in with a Swiffer and I'm gonna show you the Swiffer aftermath so you can see just how dirty it is even after mopping a house, what it looks like with a Swiffer. Fucking disgusting. The second one, not as bad, but still bad. Last is the toilet. My seat's a little busted. Don't worry about that. We're going in with the scrubbing bubbles. Not sure how you use this shit. I'm gonna read up on it. I'm literally dying in here of toxins, but I decided to put some of this toilet bowl cleaner in my shower. Like I said, I don't think it could hurt. I'm gonna go put some in my sink as well. Bleach is bleach. I don't wanna hear it. So how's your day off, guys? I know day offs are meant to like relax and rejuvenate, but 
I don't know, I usually relax and rejuvenate in bed all morning long until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon, whatever. And then when I'm like, okay, I've been laying here a little long, I get up and I do productive things around the house that need to be done. Like, by all means, take you a weekend, a heavy weekend, and relax. And I mean, I already went and did all the things that I wanted to go and do. Just a side note, um, I'm, I honestly don't blame people for who, that like let their um, spaces, apartments, rooms go because getting up and cleaning is not easy. Like, it really is like, what's the word? It really is like a mental kind of battle. It takes a lot of like discipline with yourself. It takes a lot of energy. It isn't easy you know when it's just easier to just not when you have like a busy week and all you want to do is come home and lay down like you don't want to look at the dish full the <laughs> i can't speak not me having an inspirational thought and just fizzling out you just want to come home lay down you don't want to look at the sink full of dishes like Sometimes living with a partner, it could be frustrating because obviously it takes two and if like you feel like one of you is doing more of the cleaning, the other isn't, which honestly I'm lucky because Chris is a big help and honestly if he wasn't here to help me half the time, it would be even harder than how I do keep my house super situated and organized and neat. He really likes to keep things organized, he'll do the dishes for me, that's already like half the battle, you know? So give, your, give yourself props if you only clean once a week or whatever, like, don't be so hard on yourself. It's your space and whatever you feel like you can lay down at night and feel good about. And, you know, clutter obviously is not going to do well with, like, your mental health if you're going through it mentally. And then you come home to, like, a chaotic, cluttery home that's not going to be helpful to you. So kind of try to find a balance or any ways you can get help or, you know, little tips and tricks to, like, make your everyday easier like they say getting up and making your bed is already like half the battle you feel more put together you feel like you're not going to get back into bed all those kinds of things kind of just find what works for you and go with that and that's all that matters one thing we're going to do that i think is important that a lot of us don't do we're going to go clean this out i don't dump out my vacuum very often but i'm going to do that because i've been putting it off we're gonna vacuum up all the baking soda that we've been having sitting on the rug and the couch and see how that comes out. Um, I guess it smells really good too afterwards. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna vacuum the floor. I think other than that, we're already freaking done, man. We're freaking done. And I can shower and get ready for the day. So let's do that. I ain't batch. Come vacuum up this fucking shit with me whatever arm and hammer baking soda all right let's see how this goes my vacuum is kind of like not like a full vacuum i guess you could call it so hopefully it works just as good I'm trying to find like a good setup for this so i want you guys to really be able to see it It's just not ideal. 
up being a really long day. Like the cleaning took me a couple of hours because I when I deep clean my back, oh, my back, my neck, my crack goes into it. So it takes me a couple of hours. And then my boyfriend got here. Laundry took a little. Then I actually had to go run some errands. Like I had to buy some dinner material. And tomorrow's boyfriend's day, so I went out and got my boyfriend a little something. <laughs> Obviously, you can't say. But already, what time is it? It's six forty. It's almost seven o'clock. I started cleaning around. I don't even know. Twelve o'clock. I actually ended up cleaning my ferret's cage too, which made it take way longer. By the time my boyfriend got here. up on you but right now I'm making a little instead of quesadillas with chicken I'm making it like taco style so we're gonna have those and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you like videos like this let me know and I'll try to make some more for you guys and yeah